What's up everybody, my name is Sean Conrad and I am a secret network developer and I am super excited because today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to configure your environment so that you can get started in developing on secret network. If you've never developed on secret before or the cosmos or done any sort of blockchain development, no worries, this video is for you. We're gonna take you from zero to hero and by the end of this video, you're gonna know and have all the tools you need to start developing on secret. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into the code. All right, so for configuring your environment, I'm just gonna assume that we're starting from zero and there's a couple things that we're going to be installing today. Namely, we're going to be installing Node, Git, Make, Rust, Cargo Generate, Docker, and the secret CLI. It might sound like a lot. It might sound scary, but it's not. Don't worry. We're going to do this together. Um, so first and foremost, we're going to install Git. You're going to, we're going to Git, Git. And I already have Git installed. So the Git version that I am running, I don't know if this matters to you. Maybe it does is 2.15.0. After we've installed git, we're gonna install make with this command here, brew install make. And I'm doing everything on Mac OS, so if you're doing Mac OS, you can follow along with me. All right, so after you install make, you're gonna install rust, and you can do that with this command here. So I'm just gonna copy this into my terminal. And then after we install rust, we're just gonna add this wasm build target. And just all right mine's up to date great all right so we've installed git make and rust we also want to make sure we have node.js installed um, you can do that by just googling node.js and if i were you i would just install it globally if you haven't already with this command here npm install and this g flag here just means that you're installing it globally to your computer um, just let me just double check what NPM version I am running so that we're all on the same page. So I'm running NPM 8.13.1 and Node 16.13.1. All right, next what you want to install is Cargo Generate. And this is the tool we're actually going to be using to generate our Rust smart contract. So this command is here in the secret documentation under Intro to Secret Contracts. I'm just going to copy this command and also run this in my terminal. All right, and now that we've installed Cargo Generate, what we're going to want to install is just two more things, which is Docker and Secret CLI, the secret command line interface. Let's install Docker first. If you've never worked with Docker before, you can literally just Google Docker, take, see where it takes you. And then you can download Docker for desktop. I'm working with Mac OS with an Intel chip. So I would just click this button right here and then install Docker. And the reason we install Docker is we use it to have a, a containerized version of secret network. And what that means is rather than writing this code on testnet, what we're going to do is have a local secret net running containerized inside of Docker. And it basically just acts like a testnet and completely mimics the secret network so that we can test all of our code. So once you've installed Docker, and it'll look like this, this little whale icon, the next step is installing the secret command line interface. All right, so what you want to do is actually navigate to this Tools and Libraries tab of the documentation, and here you'll see this Install section for Secret CLI. I'm doing this on Secret CLI Mac OS, so I'm just going to follow these this exact direction, right? So it says to install a secret CLI, download the latest version here. I'm gonna open this up. And then one thing that you wanna make sure you do is the latest version is 1.6.0, but when I was doing all this environment config to prepare this video for you all, I was running into errors with the newest version. So I actually, what I did is I went all the way back to 1.4.0. And Secret is constantly making changes and updates to the network. So like, let's see, 1.4.0 came out only in September and there's been all these updates since then. But just for the purpose of this tutorial to make sure we're running the same version, I would recommend downloading version 1.4.0, which is Shockwave Delta. So what you do for this is you scroll down, you go to assets, and then you download the version that is right for your computer. And so I'm doing this on Mac OS. So what I will do is download Secret CLI Mac OS. 
that's downloaded. And what I'm going to do is just move that to my desktop so that it's easy to work with. All right. So now that we've downloaded Secret CLI, we're going to install Secret CLI. And the way you do that on Mac OS is you run this command, MV Secret CLI, Mac OS Secret CLI. And you want to make sure that you navigate to the directory that contains the file we just downloaded, right? And I just moved that to desktop for ease of use. So I'm going to CD into my desktop. And then I'm going to run that command. And the next step is to make the file executable. So you can ignore this step, this second step here, because that's for ARM 64 Mac users. I'm an Intel Mac user. So I'm going to run this command here. All right, and to make this work on your Mac machine, we can try to run this command and it's not gonna work, but fear not. Let just, let me show you. And I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna pull this into here. So it says it cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified, right? So the way we do this is we go into our system preferences and we go to security and privacy And then right here, it says secret CLI was blocked from use because it was not from an identified developer. And what we're going to do is say allow anyway. Great. And now when we try to run that same command again in our terminal, which was this right here, it should work. So let's do that. And now I'm getting this notice. And what I want to say is open and beautiful. It just installed Secret CLI onto my computer. And the last thing you want to do after you install this is moving the path so that you're able to use it anywhere on your system. And you can do that with this command right here in the documentation, MV move Secret CLI, and then it moves it into this local bin. So I'm going to copy this command, and then I'm just going to paste that into my terminal. And this right here tells you how to use all these commands, right? Usage, secret D, and then you have access to all these commands, which is just basically you interacting with your local secret blockchain environment. Um, so if I run just like, for example, secret CLI version, it should then tell me that my secret CLI version is 1.4 because that's what I just installed on my computer. There you go, 1.4.0, okay. So at this step in the tutorial, you should now have Node, Get, Make, Rust, Cargo Generate, Docker, and Secret CLI all installed. And with that, we can now get developing.